top rated handball of the season. <laughs> Don't bottle it, Chelsea. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Fan Perspective. And today, a wet day in London. We're on our way to Stamford Bridge, a London derby, to watch Chelsea versus Arsenal. The Chelsea are definitely underdogs in this one. They've lost five of their last six against the Gunners, which is the same amount of losses as the last 25 previous meetings. That being said, they've got Pochettino at the helm, who's also got them their first back-to-back -back victories since October 2022. And the man himself has never actually lost to Arsenal in all those games for Tottenham. Before the international break, both sides come off of massive victories. Obviously, Chelsea, goals wise, their biggest win of the season. And Arsenal, they finally conquered Pep Guardiola. Some massive, massive games. Come on, being realistic though, Arsenal, they're, they're, if they win this, they should be top of the league. They're unbeaten this season, the best defensive record in the league, so they've got to be the favourites. And if you look at the bookies' odds, it's very clear. Sorry about the struggle, guys. The rain's heavy, but I cannot skip an intro. So, yeah, if you look at the bookies' odds, there's not too much to split them to fair. Chelsea just just over two to one Arsenal, about 1.3 to one. But yeah, really the contest really becomes clear when you look at the poll. I put the question to you guys and a lot of you voted, which since I put the poll up quite late, I was quite shocked by. And 64%, I believe of you, think that Arsenal are gonna walk away with all three points. Yes, I'm trying not to put a Chelsea hat on here, but I do think it's gonna be a lot closer than it first seems on the stats. I feel like Chelsea should score at home. They've shown they can be competitive against big sides, especially Liverpool earlier on the season Cole Palmer is the star boy and I think I'm gonna go for a very conservative one or draw between both sides with a few injury concerns especially for Arsenal so I'm interested to see what the lineups are gonna be in around 25 minutes time but yeah I'm in Wembley I'm making my way to the bridge let's make our way to the ground I'm gonna be making my way to the bridge but this way I don't know if I'm using a tube or a submarine about 45 minutes until kickoff, and I finally made it to Westminster. It doesn't help the fact that the Jubilee line is more packed than the share bag of Quavers, but the lineups are out as follows. Chelsea side looks pretty decent. There's no out and out number nine, but it looks like there might be Sterling playing the inverted centre forward role with more pacey wingers out wide and a beautiful midfield three as well. Conor Gallagher, I think, I'll put in the work rate. Enzo, he shows his talent, and Caicedo can always put in a challenge. But if you look at the Arsenal lineup, well, it's probably their best popular lineup. But look at the fans, unless you want to trade a personal fan favourite, remind Jorginho for party. I guess he's fan. And he's actually more stronger than the Italian, but other than that, it should be a good game on paper. Let's hope it's good atmosphere in the stands as well. Let's get to Stamford Bridge. <laughs> Just for the players come out, we got one more prediction. What do you think? Two on Chelsea, uh, Thiago Silva, Saka equaliser, Cole Palmer winner. Up the Chelsea, come on. Chelsea, Arsenal, and it's a cold wet night in London, but this play is drenched in history. It's for more than just the points, it's for bragging rights. The Arsenal fans, they're looking down upon us just like they are in the league. This is the first game of the bridge since Eden has all retired. They hit me a lot, and hopefully the players can react and do this one for him. Let's get the kickoff. Just high press style has worked in the early stages. Chelsea with the first shot of the game. First slice of cheese of the game goes to Zinchenko, who's taken out his country. His arm is outstretched, he's headed onto it. Jesus Christ, what's he going for? A clothesline. Now, all the bias out the window, if they don't give this, it's worse than the Diaz call. It looks like similar yeah, to Burnley, yeah. Cole Palmer Prince. steps up. The star boy's got the ball in his hands. A 
Everywhere I go, he comes up with the goods. We've got Brighton away. The goal got this now. We've got Wembley. What a goal. And then all the pressure on his shoulders. The big moment in a London derby. He steps up and he gives Chelsea the lead. Come on. I guess you can see in the first 20 minutes, Jorginho is really feeling the blooms back at the bridge. First things first, a quick word for our sponsor. If you've clicked on this video, then that means, just like myself, you're a football obsessive. Now with this comes a lot of travelling all across the country. Now what a better way to keep track of the grounds you've been to than your very own football scratch-off map. It displays the entire 92 of the Premier League and EFL's grounds, giving you a nice stylistic display to present the grounds that you've been to. If you go through the link in the description and use code RED10 at checkout, you'll get a massive 10% discount. So make sure you don't miss out, because trust me, they're a great addition. Now I've got some scratching to do, but before then, let's get back to the video. Little inches away from 2-0 Chelsea, they're kind of getting a good drive to he slides the ball through. And Oh, it stroked the post. Just over half an hour play, it looks like Caicedo and Enzo are in the pivot. Alternating between centre forward and centre attack and mid. We've got Cole Palmer and Conor Gallagher. On the left, we've got Mudrick. On the right, you've got Sterling. I'm really liking the synergy of it. It's also just come to my attention that for the first time since the tradition began, it's raining, it's pouring, and both Cheltenham and Chelsea have been scoring. <laughs> Today, Stone has been turned to Zinchenko into the Ukrainian Beyblade. Something's got to give. <laughs> Sterling once again having Zinchenko on toes, dribbling his way into the box. It's another penalty shot for Chelsea, but I don't think it's going to be given. <laughs> then we have another 45 minutes late. Chelsea won. Arsenal nil. Cole Palmer, the difference maker from the spot. Or should I say, to leave with a close line? It looks like Pochettino has really drilled in his players what it means to play against the Gunners. And I'm really liking the performance, especially Conor Gallagher, Kuparea, and I say Enzo Fernandez. Pretty much every Chelsea player has played brilliantly. Maybe Budrich can get a little bit more further forward. I wouldn't make any substitutions until later in the game. Arsenal in the other hand, they might want to make some half-time substitutions because they're definitely going to come out strong. But they, obviously they got two goals to get if they want to win this game. Let's get to the second half. Come on, man! Some say Zinchenko still crying in the changing rooms. Tommy Asu's on. I was about to say that his second half has been more back and forth than shuffle ruffers. Then Misha catches the goalkeeper in no man's land. It goes for the back post and in fact somehow crumbles into the far corner. Come on! As the slogan goes, every little helps. But come on, we're in dreamland right now. Don't bottle it, Chelsea. Martinelli don't want it. Chelsea! 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 Arsenal are knocking on the door, but the minute Chelsea have titanium hinges. Raya's head is all over the place. He must have Ramsdale on his mind. He's just got caught out again there. Chelsea corner. <laughs> now, I don't think you could hear that before Chelsea had a shot. As soon as Raya made a mistake, the Arsenal fans are chanting Aaron Ramsdale's name. Do we have a clear favourite for the fan base? Ever since the second goal, you might as well call us Jigsaw FC because anytime we get anywhere near the Arsenal box, we just fall apart.
14 minutes to go and Arsenal have the momentum. It looks like the goalkeeper passes straight out of straight ball. Declan right to the bottom range and it goes in. So lucky for Chelsea, they've had a great game. And yeah, we just hope we take it. And then smack on the chin, hope we can carry on. And just like that, that's the difference between good teams and great teams. There's seven minutes left to play. Leandro Trossard, who's just entered the pitch, gets the equaliser, taps it past the goalkeeper, and it's limbs in the away end. If there's one thing I can say, I've got to give it to the Belgian. He's always there in the clutch moments. He did it at Wembley and he's done it at the bridge. A matter of seconds left of the game, Arsenal have the momentum, but it looks like it's going to end all level and it's one of those games where it's what could have been. So that is, it goes full time, Chelsea 2, Arsenal 2. It was really a game of two halves, Arsenal played excellent in the second half. Granted the first goal, it wasn't a bit lucky, but so was Chelsea second and it deserved to end all square. Both sides leave Stamford Bridge with a point, just how I expected the game to go. But yeah, Chelsea played it brilliantly today. And I really thought this would have been a banana skin for Arsenal. They've just conquered their highest peak, Pep Guardiola at the Emirates. And they could have strolled into this and flipped up. They initially did, but they came back. And that's the difference between a good team and a great team. You shouldn't hope to win these games. You should expect to win these games if you want to win the league. I just want to say thank you to everyone that showed support on the channel. We're very quickly climbing up to 10,000 subscribers. If you did enjoy the video, please can you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live. I'm off to Belfast with my snooker work this week, so you might have some content coming out for that. But if not, me and Frankie and Owen have got a road trip to Ipswich. There's so much more content coming your way, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you did enjoy the video, I'll see you guys. Next one. See ya.